So this small kind of vintage animation I did in After Effects got me thinking about After Effects, the, the graph editor and the whole complex universe surrounding the easing stuff, especially of course when it comes to more complex animation. So, so I thought to myself, maybe someone out there can use my learnings uh, for anything. And uh, yeah, here you go, a small tutorial and insight on After Effects, the graph editor, value and speed graph. Enjoy! So I guess we have all seen these tutorials uh, with the value and speed graph where you have a ball move or sorry a sphere move from one uh, end to the other. Uh, just quickly demonstrate what I've seen a lot of times. The, you push the shift uh, command, the shift option P com uh, buttons and move to a, a place in time and you move your spheres and you got your motion and you would demonstrate and say okay so if you want this to have some easing over it we can go ahead and choose keyframe assistant easy ease and there you go and you would go you can go inside the uh, value graph and you can see the representation of the movement here it goes slow in the beginning and fast in the middle and you can see that represented in the speed graph like slow here fast slow again and you would go in and say well if you want to make it really zoom we can drag those handles like this and you can make the movement even more extreme like this and I would think yeah okay I got that I get that what about if we made something more like uh, advanced, like a sphere, and we would like to have that same movement. Well, uh, you would have the sphere, uh, and here it's a ellipse path. Uh, you will ma make the sphere, and you would convert it to a Bezier path. You would go and choose a path, and you would choose the position, like by pushing P on your keyboard. Uh, Copy the path by Command C or Control C and paste it into the position of Command C or Control V. Boom. And here you have here you have the circle uh, movement uh, in a linear way. And you would like the easing. And here would like to make a shout out to um, Jake in Motion. His the last graph ages of video ever need uh, is very brilliant and he's a very skilled motion graphic designer uh, and I admire him a lot so um, take a look at that as well um, so he basically uh, taught me this because uh, these middle keyframes is called rover across time keyframes and these keyframes is just regular diamonds no easing keyframes and these two keyframes are the important ones in lack of a better word so you would go into the uh, speed graph not the value graph the value graph is basically in my opinion totally and utterly useless when it comes to other stuff than moving uh, uh, spheres from one point uh, to another point on the same axis because well uh, what you would do is like going you can see the representation of the two uh, of all the axes here in the value graph and you would go ahead and separate dimensions and it would look like this and like ah this is a nightmare how do I make this work uh, so here the yeah sorry I separate dimensions uh, uh, to the X and Y position uh, and you can uh, click that off as well so uh, here the speed graph is your go-to path and you would choose the two uh, keyframes, main keyframes and choose easy ease. Uh, sorry, you would choose <laughs> uh, all the keyframes and no. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> by <clears throat> a, uh, this is a quick uh, learning to myself i didn't uh, see that 
uh, I forgot when you do that, the separate dimension stuff, um, it will convert your keyframes to ordinary keyframes. So you need to put, push back on the row across time keyframes. And now you will have a speed graph uh, and you can choose uh, easy ease and you can drag. So now you will have like this more subtle movement from the sphere and again you can make it more extreme by uh, dragging those handles and you will have this one so so far so good thank you again uh, Jake in motion and again and also Ben Marion and your tutorials and your way of doing stuff I uh, big shout out uh, shout out of kudos to both of you thank you um, I do miss, however, a this particular way of doing stuff because, well, yeah, so just a short introduction to who I am. My name is Rene Brokop. I've been working with motion graphics for, yeah, in this manner, embarrassing long, like 18 or 20 years. Um, and um, We've been like in the 3D motions, 2D animations, project mapping on cars, buildings, uh, and recently I've <laughs> been curious about the AI stuff. I've always been like um, confused about this um, speed graph and value graph stuff in After Effects, and um, you can see this example from from Dexy, this uh, the movie I did for Dexy, these spheres moving around. Um, I think if you're an experienced motion designer, you can see that I struggle a bit with it. Uh, well, I just wish that I uh, knew back then what I know now. So, uh, I want to have the sphere move on this rather <laughs> a bit complicated uh, path, and I want it to ease. We go ahead to the path, we copy the path, and we we paste it into the position of the sphere and now it moves in a linear way so how do we ease this uh, the answer is you don't <laughs> or at least not in the beginning because again shout out to dragon motion these robo across time uh, keyframes are very good to work with because they're very subtle in the movement they don't break up like uh, the ordinary keyframes would do if you had put value on them. So um, you would plan on where would you like the motion to ease. So I would like it to go like here and when it reaches this point, I would like it to zoop and slow and end fast. So in order for me to remember that, uh, I always forget where the right keyframes are. I will make a marker on, on, on my layer and uh, on the MacBook Pro, it's Command-8, I think. Oh, sorry, Shift-8, <laughs> not Command-8. Uh, Command-8, it's a paint. Um, and that was wrong as well. It's Control-8, sorry. Control A, sorry, sorry. Uh, and we go to here, and I wanted to settle down, so here's a mark as well. Um, and I will uh, just zoom in here. By the way, um, I'm zooming in uh, with shortcuts, and I make the keyboard shortcuts my own uh, in the keyboard shortcuts menu, and I've uh, made it by finding zoom and putting in what I want it to be. And for me, it's a set and, and this arrow button. Uh, so zoom in and zoom out on the timeline panel. It's a huge time saver to, to have this instead of going down here every time and clicking around. So just, you know, well, I plan on from this keyframe around here to this one. So I'll mark those and another shout out for another big hero of mine is Video Copilot. He taught us something 18 years ago and this was holding down the Alt key, Alt Option key while dragging you a bunch of keyframes will scale it proportionally. So 
hold down the alt key and I will drag those together like this. Uh, and you can see now it moves a bit more like I want to zoom. And here we want it to be a bit more slow, so we'll drag uh, that out. And in the end, faster. So let's see. Zoom. zoom. A bit faster, right? Zoom. And here you can go ahead and make your fine tuning of the easing. So you will go into the graph editor. By the way, the, the, the shortcut to get into the graph editor is Shift F3, at least on my MacBook Pro it is. I know what it is on Windows. Um, so uh, you go here and you have the last two uh, keyframes and you want this movement, this shift in time, maybe to be more subtle. And you can do that by right clicking here and go and it's a, a easy ease. Now, a problem. Uh, there are still two keyframes here, or it appears to be. Uh, so again, a shout out and I want to make a shout out to Motion Design School. After Effects tips and tricks, they have these very short tutorials on some actually quite advanced stuff. Uh, it, it's a huge help to figure out uh, uh, some annoying stuff uh, that you simply can't figure out yourself. Uh, you can see a thousand tutorials and you're not, just not getting anywhere. After Effects tips and tricks Motion Design School, very good. Uh, so, they show this little trick. There's, if you double click this keyframe, you will have the option of going continuous. So it will uh, melt those two keyframes together and you can pull the handle here and you can make the transition from keyframe to keyframes uh, speed uh, more smooth. So it will be like, whoop, Boom, like that. So that was basically it for uh, advanced uh, animation speed graph. There's a, of course a lot of other options and I might do some more tutorials on different ways of doing it. But for now, I will let this be. Now you see, <clears throat> just you can just enter the uh, tutorial here if you want. Um, but um, I will just show you maybe two things more, uh, and it is, that is how I make the tail. If you see like this motion, you can see that it has, this sphere has tails, and um, you can do it in different kind of ways. Uh, again, a shout out to Motion Design School, they have this smear and trails stuff where they make this one. Uh, you can do that. I didn't do that. I, I, I choose the easy way to do it. <laughs> well, this is very easy. It's, it's a tutorial in 2 minutes and 52 seconds, so it's it's very sh it's actually very fast. But um, I will recommend this, uh, this plugin. If you don't have it, you need it. All motion graph designers I know uh, and respect have this plugin. Motion 4 from MTMoGraph. Uh, it just has a load of stuff you can do and well it's not free I think it's like around 70 dollars for it but it's very cheap compared to what you get very very cheap um, but I actually bought it back then because of one thing uh, and that was there was this warp stuff and I have never had any use for it until now so I can just push this warp button and here you go and uh, you have your trail. <laughs> if you uh, thought to yourself, well that was a, uh, that was an abrupt ending, uh, don't worry it was, uh, I, um, it, it's, uh, if you, there was actually 15 minutes more, 15 minutes more, uh, but um, if you think I sound confused in the first 15 minutes, um, you don't want to hear the rest. Uh, so I decided to stop it here and make some more tutorials. Uh, so if you're curious about more, uh, hit the subscribe button um, and comment. And if there's something I forget or don't say, or you 
uh, think I'm doing wrong, also comment. Uh, you're more than welcome. And uh, yeah, see you. Have a nice day.